Welcome to our tutorial on parametric links. I've got a plate here, and I want to create a second plate that's equal in length to the first plate, and which also follows its length dimensions in case I make modifications to the first plate. In a circumstance like this, we're going to need to create some links, and that's what we'll be covering in this tutorial. First, let's expand Part 1's branch. Double click on Part Body. I've got Sketch 1 here. Let's double click on it. Here is the dimension I want to use. Let's right click on it and select Length.5 object. Now select Rename Parameter. The Edit Parameter dialog window opens. Highlight the parameter path and let's rename it my underscore parameter. Click OK. Now let's double click on product 1. We go back to the assembly design workbench. Right click, components, new part. Do we want to define a new origin point for this part? No. Now let's expand part 2's branch. We'll double click on part body. Activate the sketch command. Let's create a sketch on the XY plane. Activate snap to point and geometrical constraints. Activate the rectangle tool. Let's create a rectangle from the origin point. We'll deselect everything. Activate constraints. Click on this line. Right click. Select length.5 object. Edit formula. Now let's make length 5 equal to parameters. Let's click on this sketch. And Katia realizes I'm looking for some external parameter inside this sketch. Katia gives me a list of parameters to choose from. I see my underscore parameter here. If necessary, we could have used a filter to narrow down the list. Or we could have typed the name and filter it in this way. Let's select my underscore parameter and we're going to click OK. See what's happened now? The value has populated this field. 130 millimeters. Keep this in mind. I'll be explaining why this is important in a couple minutes. Let's click OK. We've got a 130 millimeter length value driven by a formula. Let's exit the sketch. We'll create a quick pad now. Maybe something like 10 millimeters. Select this sketch and click OK. Now let's double click on the product level. Click Update to be sure everything is up to date. Let's go to Sketch 1 under Part 1. We'll double click on it. Now we'll change the value of this dimension to 110 millimeters. Click OK. And we'll exit the sketch. The bottom plate is red. It needs an update. We'll need to go back to the product or assembly level. Just double click on product.1 and then we will click on the update icon. It will update everything. As you can see, the length of the plate that we tried to link to the length of the first plate did not in fact happen. We had a problem here. Let's go figure out what happened. The link was broken. Once again, if I double click here, I see that the dimension remains 130 millimeters. Let's exit the sketch. Now select Tools, Options, Infrastructure, and Part Infrastructure. Under the General tab, let's check Keep Link with Selected Object, Show Newly Created External References, and Confirm when creating a link with Selected Object. 
Under the Display tab, let's check External References. This will display our external references in the specification tree. Click OK. Let's open up Sketch 1 again. Double click. Let's right click on this dimension. Object. Edit Formula. Again, let's click on this sketch. Select our parameter, my underscore parameter, and click OK. Katia prompts us with a confirmation window. Keep link with selected object option is active. Do we want to keep the link with the selected object? Let's click Yes. Now we can see that our dimension is equal to an external parameter, and we have the name of the parameter that we want it linked to. The numerical value of our dimension, 130 millimeters, is still showing. If I try to click OK, Katia will give me a warning message. I need to delete this value from this field. And we're able to click OK now. Let me go quickly back to Tools, Options, Part Infrastructure, and on the General tab, here's the confirmation option we enabled a few moments ago. That's why we received a prompt from Katia asking us if we wanted to keep the link. Click OK. You see in the specification tree, we've got a branch for external parameters. Here is my underscore parameter. Let's go back to Sketch 1 under the Part 1 branch. You can see that Part 2 is now red. Let's exit the sketch and double click on Product 1. We go up to the assembly level, Update. Now Part 2 has followed Part 1. Let's check again. Let's double click on Sketch 1. Change the value to 90 millimeters and click OK. Now we exit the sketch. And both components are red. They both require an update. We're still in Part 1. We can update here, though. Part 1 updates, but not Part 2. In order to update the second component, we need to select Part 2, or simply go up to the assembly level by double-clicking on Product 1. So let's do that and then we'll update from this level. Now let's select Edit, Links. We do see our links here. Click OK. If I go to the Part 1 level, select Edit, Links, I get a message stating that Part 1 has no external links. Click OK. Let's go to Part 2, double-click on Part 2, Edit, Links. Surely enough, I see the link and the pointed document, Part1.cat part. Let's click OK. And this concludes our tutorial on parametric links.